What's up everybody, welcome back to Scars and Whiskey. For our next review, today we're going to be reviewing a cigar uh, that is released by Cigar International. Uh, but it is a cigar that has been made by A.J. Fernandez. Now, he does make quite a few different cigar blends. Uh, he does, his factory does produce cigars for other companies. Uh, but this one we're going to be reviewing is from Cigar International, as I said. It's the Ave Maria Requested. Now, with this cigar, it is featuring a Brazilian Habano Oscuro wrapper. That's why it is a darker, uh, it is a torpedo cigar. Uh, it does feature a Honduran binder, and then the filler is Nicaraguan. But man, it is a really luscious looking cigar. You can see uh, real tight seams. Uh, you got some of the veining here. It's not too crazy. Uh, it just runs a little higher on the price point. If you buy the cigar just by itself, and it's you know in a box of the same, it's about 19 to 21 dollars for the cigar, which is quite high. Not something I normally would purchase. All right, back with the pre-draw. I went ahead and cut the top of the torpedo off. Uh, with a straight cutter. Uh, I don't know if there's any other way you could really cut it. Uh, I've never seen anybody try to punch a torpedo. Uh, they might try a V cut, which I don't make sense. It doesn't make sense because you're taking off a lot of the, the torpedo itself. But mine, straight cut, getting a real semi sweet cocoa profile right off of the bat. I am getting a dried raisin right off the bat. Uh, for those, if you try this and you don't get those profiles immediately, then obviously it doesn't mean that you're missing it. It just means you probably haven't smoked enough cigars that you can pick up on subtle changes. And I'm not saying you can't eventually do that, and you might be able to now. It's just, that's what I'm noticing as I'm test tasting this. It is a pretty uh, firm cigar here, a little bit more spongy towards the bottom it's got an excellent draw and with that we're going to go ahead and light it up and get to the first third of our ave maria into our first third of the ave maria it is a very toothy oily thick wrapper i mean it's it, it's kind of a really I personally like it. I think this is a really phenomenal cigar to start out. A little more of the raisin profile. I am noticing just a slight uh, pepper profile, black pepper. Not overpowering. Now this cigar is rated as a medium to full. So we'll see how well that goes on that said. Uh, but so far so good. We'll keep smoking through this. Uh, cigar, we're back with the second third after this. Welcome back, everybody, for the Ave Maria Reconquista 7x54 Torpedo. Now, in the second third, I'm starting to notice a little bit of an oak profile, a little bit of a spice, uh, a little more in depth than just black pepper, getting a little more maybe like a baking spice. Uh, hasn't really determined what type of baking spice, but it is a little bit it's switching up dimension. Uh, I would have to say I'm going to go with the fact that I think it's the Brazilian uh, uh, Scoro wrapper that's on there that's definitely giving it a new twist with that uh, Nicaraguan uh, filler. But there also is that Honduran binder in there as well. So those three together make it a very interesting smoke. Like I said, you can find these on Cigar International. I'm not sure if they sell them in any other avenues. I know that Cigar International has uh, Cigars.com and they have subsidiary companies that sell the same thing. But these are uh, definitely uh, something you may want to try. It might be something you get for a special occasion for the simple fact that if it's above your price point, I know that uh, three of these cigars in a gift pack is like $50. Or like I said, you can get five in a 35 pack bun uh, sampler that they released. 
and it's roughly like 125 plus tax so it isn't a cheap cigar just to get and try it is something I would recommend if you're buying it as a gift for someone who enjoys cigars or if you're getting it uh, to celebrate something that might be uh, what you're into uh, but with that said definitely interesting uh, as you know uh, the Ave Maria I didn't show the, the didn't show the wrapper earlier but you can see it is uh, like a crusader a knight templar um, this one has gold letter a gold background on it and gold lettering i know that some of their other ones are usually silver a little more predominant blue with them but with that said we're going to keep going through it i'll be back with the final third and the final thoughts of our ava maria requista uh, after this all right everybody welcome back for the final third of our review of the ava maria in the final third, I am noticing that the profile did go from the medium to a full strength cigar. So if you're someone who doesn't smoke a lot of full strength cigars, be aware of that. It might be something you really enjoy. I do like full strength cigars, so for me, I like it. The one positive about this cigar, it was there was no issues construction wise or burn wise. It isn't razor sharp, but man, it is pretty darn close. And I have to say, I give kudos to the rollers who rolled this cigar. They definitely did a really good job. So when you buy a cigar at the high price point, this one is at like $19 or whatever that high price was. Uh, it is good to have an experience where you don't have any tunneling, you don't have any mouse holes, you don't have any burn issues, you don't have any construction problems because it does make you feel better that you didn't have a bummed cigar but again with hand rolled cigars you can have issues like that so be aware of that but all in all i gotta say the profile is the same it hasn't really changed it's just really well balanced now with that a scuro wrapper and the uh honduran and nicaraguan blend Man, but it is a definitely good cigar. I do suggest you try it if you haven't had it. If you haven't had any of the AJ Fernandez cigars, I definitely suggest you try seeking some of those out. You can look at some of those past reviews I have. I know that I have currently over 360 reviews now, so if you're new to the channel and you haven't ever watched one before, there's plenty there to watch, plenty of you to, to see. A lot of the cigars, as, I, as you'll know, I go through Cigar International, but for me it's a... A well it's a well place to buy cigars online if you're not buying them in your local cigar shops it does give you a better price point uh, but sometimes you have to buy a huge bundle to get the really good price it just all depends they have a lot of great cigars by no means are they uh, sponsoring this video it's just I like to give shout outs where I get really good cigars and for that that's why I am giving that kudos but if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and as always, have a great day, have a great smoke, and I'll see you next time.